So this morning we had a session on the differences between type 1 diabetes in pediatrics and adults, trying to emphasize the fact that children are not little adults. Um, we had four very distinguished speakers who spoke to us about that uh, and really uh, tried to emphasize that the pathophysiology, the presentation, the progression of the disease are all quite different when you look at children diagnosed with type 1 versus adults. The key takeaways from today's talks really are that children progress to diabetes in a much more rapid pace. They're much more likely to experience complications associated with their diabetes given the duration of time that they live with the disease and that we likely need to develop therapies for them to intervene in the process that are going to be different from the ones that might work for adults. Despite the great improvements we've made in control over the last several decades, um, and I think the data that people are aware of that complication rates are falling, that they're still considerable. The disease burden of living with diabetes is not trivial by any means. Um, retinopathy, end-stage renal disease, and even death are still pretty prevalent issues. Um, and that needs to be considered when we talk about these equipoise issues of designing clinical trials to try and benefit these folks. I, th I think the options for future treatments uh, as we learn more about how this plays out by age group uh, and individuals are going to allow us to develop therapies that are, are individualized. So we'll be able to identify folks who will respond to certain therapies and others who won't and therefore we won't expose people to therapies they don't need and we will expose folks to therapies that will benefit from them um, in, a, in a more controlled and logical way.